Good morning, friends. It's Katie Courget with Midwest Outdoors, and we have a gorgeous fall morning here in the West Metro of Minneapolis, Minnesota. So I'm hoping that I'll take you along a journey where we're doing some multi-species fishing action, panfish, bass, and potentially northern. But no matter what, it's bound to be fun and a gorgeous day. So here we go, fishing the Courget way. All right, we are hooked up, you guys. I think we have a bass on, we'll see. That's a nice start to the day. There we go. He's giving us some nice smiles for the camera as well. Beautiful fish. And that's the best part of fall right here. A little bit healthier. Let's bring him right up. Perfect. Doesn't get any better than that from a hook perspective. Hook right in the lip. Beautiful little large mouth here, and I was throwing out a live sucker minnow, about a medium-sized one. He's not a bad start, about a pound, pound and a half start to our day. So it's always good to uh, get the jitters out of the first fish. So woohoo, fish on. See you later, buddy. Ready to go. Fish on. Oh, it's a nice bass. Oh, that's a big one. Holy cow. <laughs> Okay, maybe I overestimated a little bit, but still a nice fish, man. Right here, dock fishing. Here we go. Come here, buddy. All right. Woo! That one took me in and out and weaving and bobbing. <laughs> but we got him on the dock. Beautiful color on this one. It's amazing how fish all in the same lake can be different colors based upon the structure that they're hiding under. I feel like this is our dock dweller. I hit, um, I, he hit pretty close under the dock on live bait. And that's really why I like using live bait earlier on in the fall too, because the water temp is a little bit colder. The fish sometimes are moody in the sense that they're not as aggressive as usual. And typically a, a nice wiggly minnow does the trick with these guys. So. Awesome, awesome, awesome fish. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful sunfish. Look at this one. So I changed up the presentation. I was using a lot of crappie minnows, sucker minnows, and targeting bass, but holy cow. It's fun when you can have a fish that's as big as your hand. And that's the beauty of these metro area lakes. A lot of people don't realize that you don't have to go way up north in Minnesota to catch the beautiful fish. Many of these lakes have different species. It's really great for kids, great for people of different ages, different experience levels. And another helpful hint is that usually wherever there's a dock, that's sometimes the best place to be on the lake because the DNR, Department of Natural Resources, has looked at the lake structure and decided that this was a great place to put the dock. There we go. Better. Woohoo! Nice one. What a beautiful belly on this fish, too. What I love about these fish at this point in the year is that as we transition from summer to fall, the water temperature is going down a little bit. The fish look super bright and clean and just beautiful. And that's a thrill for me as an avid angler to see that transition happen. Now something else just to think about, I hear a lot of times that people don't know where to go around their homes, kind of in the metro area. Where is a good lake to fish? I get asked that all the time. And really, I always recommend that you go and check out the DNR, Department of Natural Resources website, because they break down the metro areas by north, south, east, west, talking to you about what kind of lakes to look for, what kind of structure there are in those lakes. Another great resource is your local bait stores. I absolutely love going to a few of the little mom and pop bait stores that are around me. And it's great because the people who work there are very passionate about the outdoors. They're there to lend you a helping hand so that when you're going to get bait or your tackle, you can just go ahead and ask them a few questions about the area and they'll be able to give you some helpful hints. That is either a big fish or a big weed and a big fish. Hopefully not a turtle. <laughs> we'll find out. What do we have? Oh, nice bass. Oh, nice bass. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'll grab him. Good. Come on, buddy. Now that. Oh, holy cow. Is this a fish and a half, you guys? Look at this bass. <laughs> Woo! 
My heart is racing, guys. This fish is all of 18, 19 inches at least. And that's all that it was caught by, just that. So there's something to be said about having a sharp hook ready to go. Holy cow, oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> this is a fall bass, you guys. This is what we come out here for. What a beautiful fish, mwah. <laughs> What an amazing day we've had out here today as we transition from summer to fall fishing. Woo! So we used a variety of different live bait techniques, caught a bunch of different fish, sunfish, bluegills, and largemouth bass like this guy. And I'd encourage anyone that's interested in learning more about your local lakes, go ahead and visit your local DNR website. Check out the local bait shops. There are so many resources out there for you. So until next time, Tight lines, thank you for fishing the Courget way with Katie Courget, and stay tuned for more of Midwest Outdoors.